All right, guys, so I'm really, really skeptical of today's song. This is the brand new track from Asking Alexandria. It's called Dark Void, and if you've seen the teaser this past week that they put out for it, it said uh, something just basically along the lines of, okay, so you guys wanted heavy, hold my beer, here you go, and it plays like the first you know, 30 seconds or so of, of the song. I just I assume it's just like the intro riff. And it's heavy, and it's, and it's got screaming vocals and stuff, and it's cool, but I'm really skeptical of that because I feel like immediately after that, it's just going to drop down and it's not going to be heavy. It's not going to be a heavy song. It's going to be rock. It's going to be like more hard rock. And it's not going to have that classic Asking Alexandria sound. And I realize it's not 2009 anymore. Every song can't be off Stand Up and Scream. I get it. Personally, though, I cannot help but think of Stand Up and Scream or Reckless and Relentless or even uh, Death um, From Death to Destiny and The Black. Like when I think of Asking Alexandria, that heavy uh, metalcore sound, drop down, uh, drop downs, <laughs> breakdowns, um, that electronic like dance synth stuff. Like that's what I think of when I think about Asking Alexandria. And these past few albums they've put out just have not been that. They've been not necessarily bad music, but just in my opinion, forgettable. I, I listen to them, you know, once through probably, and never touched them again. But we're going to go ahead and jump into it because it is brand new Asking Alexandria music, and I am excited to, to check it out, even if I am skeptical about it. So we're going to get into this. It's uh, Dark Void, Asking Alexandria. Let's go. So the intro riff from the teaser. This is heavy. I mean, it's it's groovy and heavy, and it does sound good. Okay. And then, and then we immediately, and I'm not saying this is bad, but we immediately drop into a clean chorus. I can't help but have an issue with that because I feel like bands do this all the time. And not just bands, but like uh, movies and TV shows and stuff. You know, like horror movies. I love horror movies, so I hear it all the time. It's the scariest movie you've ever seen. Oh my God. Uh, you know, scariest movie of the year. People are throwing up in the movie theaters. And then you watch it and it's like, and I feel the same way when it comes to music. When bands say, we're working on our heaviest album ever. And then you get it and you hear it and it's like, stop. Just stop. So again, not saying it's bad that it's a clean chorus, but I feel like it's a little bit misleading when you say, oh, you wanted heavy? Here you fucking go. And then it's a clean, uh, clean verse. We, we're like 10 seconds into the song. I'm going to shut up. We're, we're going to listen to the song. <laughs> If you're scratching the surface, try to find a purpose. I wonder what the devil will find. Trapped inside the Okay, so it picked back up. Sick of messing up, but forget it. Okay, so it's kind of going back to Every time I try to start, stop a fall apart. And I gotta say, Danny is a, an incredible vocalist. Always has been. Big chorus. We're gonna go back to the intro riff. I'm guessing. If you dig into the dirt, to see what you can find inside. Bass sounds good. Nice and chunky. Like a little bit of a flow going there. I like that. Again, not saying any of this is bad. Just misleading to call it heavy. Oh, 
Okay, we're building. We're gonna, we're gonna redeem it. Here we go. We're going, we're building. Okay, I thought so. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got. I hear you. Okay, back to the intro reel. I like that they're doing the like the breakdown intro riff under the chorus. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Is that it? Wait a minute, there's like 30 seconds left. Nothing left coming. New single? New album? All right, this has like the the synth feel. Sort of. Okay. I'm gonna stop that for now because I'm sure I'll just be doing a video for that one. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil anything yet. I don't wanna be misled by a teaser. But initial thoughts that has like that that kind of electronic synth kind of feel to it. Maybe it'll build up and, and get to that, like some of the classic Asking Alexandria stuff, but who knows? All right, so that was Dark Void by Asking Alexandria. I feel like that was a bit of a roller coaster, or for me it was, like my, my thoughts on the song. I was skeptical going into it because I just thought that teaser was gonna be the only heavy part of the song, and initially kind of thought I might be right because it immediately dropped to the, the, the clean verse, but then it built back up, big chorus. It had some nice vocal harmonies. It was really catchy. Overall, just a good chorus. I liked that a lot. And then after the second chorus, you know, it was kind of like, okay, where are we going? Are we getting a breakdown? Are we, like, are we going to get a full-on breakdown? Are we not? What's going to happen here? And it like built and built and built. And then I felt like it lost it. It dropped a little bit. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And then there was a breakdown. And the breakdown was nothing too complicated. It was just groovy and pretty chunky and I gotta say it was pretty heavy it was a pretty heavy breakdown and then kind of back to the like that main intro riff which was nice and then I really liked that they did uh like that breakdown intro riff under the last chorus it was kind of a nice um change so overall I gotta say I feel like I was 50 50 right with my prediction like it wasn't heavy like as far as Asking Alexandria's standards go, I guess, if you're looking at like classic Asking Alexandria. But I still feel like it was at least a pretty good mix of some heavier stuff and the more clean, uh, catchy, groovy stuff. Overall, I wouldn't put this up there with like a classic Asking Alexandria song off their first two or three albums, but I still like the song. It's not forgettable like I feel like the last few albums were and now I'm looking forward to the next single nothing left maybe it'll be more of a lighter song or like I said maybe it'll uh, build up that like electronic synth dance kind of sound that they used to use a lot you know in the first couple of albums so I guess we'll see about that one soon but anyway guys you let me know what you thought of Dark Void by Asking Alexandria down in the comments appreciate you hanging out as always checking out the new music with me and I'll see you all in the next one all right bye